Now, when you look at front end nowadays, it, it has gotten like a little bit more complex than it used to be. There's a lot mm -hmm. of things you guys have to kind of know about. Of course, you have to know about HTML, CSS. A lot of our channel is pretty heavy on React, as you guys will see. You know, and in this video, we'll go deeper into it. But this is just to kind of show you guys the overall roadmap we're going to be looking at when we're talking about front end. All right, guys. So the, the three most important things, guys, when you're thinking about front end, right? You're thinking about the front end view, right? What you see on the website. And that includes what? That includes HTML, that includes CSS, and that includes JavaScript. And those three are the most important things that you guys need to learn as the base foundation for a front end developer. So guys, check this out. So Stack Overflow does surveys every single year on, at hundreds of thousands of developers and JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you know, are literally always for the past few years have been at the top of the list. What can you do with JavaScript? First things is you can build web applications, right? So web applications include things like guys, Facebook, that's a web app, right? We can build native apps. I don't know if you know, Tesla, the actual app for your iOS and Android is built with React, which is insane, right? And you can also build server apps. So server apps are your backend applications using Node.js, and those are very popular as well. Here are the top companies that are actually using JavaScript. So what are these com companies here? Now? We got Facebook, Microsoft, LinkedIn, eBay, Groupon, right? Tesla, Netflix, Google, Uber, Tinder, Airbnb, PayPal, insane guys. And half of them, we already built clones for half of them already. So. <laughs> oh yeah. So now the most popular frameworks are which ones, Nas? We got Angular, obviously, right? Then we also got Vue, and then we got our favorite one, Kazi, React. Hey. <laughs> yeah, and I think for, you know what? One, as you can see from here, right? A lot of companies are using the all three frameworks are both very popular. You got, for example, Ang AngularJS used by companies like The Guardian, Upwork, PayPal, Sunny, ReactJS, Airbnb, Instagram, <laughs> Uber Eats, and then Vue.js, Alibaba, Grammarly, GitLab, and guys, and so much more. That's just the starting of it, right? Which should you choose? So when it comes to framework, there's a big war between the most loved frameworks, the most dreaded, and the mm -hmm. most wanted. Under the most wanted, you will see my beautiful friend React.js. <laughs> and it is by far the most wanted. Yeah. Angular is a little bit on the downward trend and uh, Vue is doing okay. The reason for that, you guys, is Angular is a lot more opinionated and it's a framework. Vue yeah. is a framework. React is actually just a library. So yeah. it's pretty much like you're just using JavaScript. So it's extremely lightweight and then it's super powerful, which is why companies like Instagram and Facebook are using it. So one of the big things guys in React is all about managing data. That's, you know, that's what kind of sets React apart from a lot of these uh, frame, uh, frameworks. And it's something called Redux. And it's yeah. a little bit hard to understand, but we're gonna go through it. So let's go ahead to the next thing. So Re yep. Redux Context API, that is when you are able to, for example, properly, you know, store data. Think of it as like, you know, a data, a uh, local data of your um, on your application and then kind of use it throughout your whole app. So whenever you change one thing, for example, on one side of the app, right, another thing will be able to change as well. So it kind of yep. talks in sync with each other. As Bruce Buffer apparently says, we have tons of live builds that we've put on YouTube and you guys can check them out. We actually did a Zoom clone build. We did Spotify clone build with React. We built TikTok with React. We built YouTube clone with React. We built Tinder with React. And we built a bunch of other things like Netflix yeah. with React right over here. And we built Instagram with React and a real time chat app for Facebook Messenger. And just yesterday, we built Slack real-time chat app with react so guys if you are looking to learn react you are in the right place or if you're looking to learn just javascript in general you're in the right place so i'm going to share the screen here um look at our subscriber count you guys after we started live streaming with you guys it's been huge thanks to you guys 
and on Saturday, on Sunday, 4K, we've never hit 4,000 subscribers in a day. And we broke 700,000 subscribers, you guys. That is huge. Remember, we have the free training for you guys. So that link is in the description below. You guys can sign up for this free training. And then for those of you guys who want to just jump into the course Profit with JavaScript, be a part of our community with over... How many people do we have now? We have 1500. let's 1500. Yeah, let Almost me click. 1500. Almost 1500. Yeah, we broke 1400 for sure. So this community is just awesome. If you guys want to become a part of this community, our Profit with JavaScript community, then definitely jump in our course Profit with JavaScript. Massive, massive value for all of you. Yeah, I think I it's Spunden asked, hey, can you please suggest about JS courses for beginners, please? Guys, profit of JavaScript, just that's it. All I got to say, join the yeah. course. 